Hello and welcome along to this tutorial video to show you just how the Video Swiper V2 application works. Now if you're using one of the scripts like uh, Clipshare, Vidiscript, Vshare, Social Media, PHP Motion, Adult Watch, Clipbucket, MediaXXX, WordPress, VBulletin Tube, OS Tube, Boonex Dolphin, Raz, MediaShare Suite, Adult Video Script, Handshakes, HWD Video Share, Video Site Builder, Niche Video Script, Smart Video Plus, Social Engine, PHP Fox, Clubhouse, or PHP Melody, uh, then you're able to use our application. Now, Video Swiper is a very powerful application, but it's effortlessly easy to use. All you've got to do is connect your site to our system, and then you're able to transfer millions of videos to your websites with ease. We're going to show you today the setup of using a standard subscription service with embedding videos. You can mass embed from millions of videos from over 50 search engines, and in this demonstration, we're going to show you just how easy that is. So let's log into our account. So here we are now in the Video Swiper account dashboard. Now Video Swiper comes with two separate subscription services. Subscription 1 is our standard subscription and allows you to add a total of 5 websites to your account. It also allows you to send a total of 1 million videos to your websites every month. It comes complete with mass embedding and our server to server system. A premium subscription allows you to add an unlimited amount of websites to your account and send an unlimited amount of videos to those websites every month. It also comes complete with mass embedding and our server to server system. However, our premium subscription comes with our automation service which allows you to drip feed videos to your websites every night on autopilot. Once you set up a few variables you'll be able to add multiple accounts and send multiple videos to those accounts every single night without any intervention from yourself. This is an extremely powerful way of building huge websites very fast. We're now going to show you how to add a website to Video Swiper. Before we can start adding our websites or even sending content to them, we first need to download a plugin that we upload to our server. So first of all we need to go to the plugins downloads area. You then need to search through our supported scripts and find the script that you're using, whether it be VShare, Clipshare, PHPMotion, whichever script it is, just go to our downloads area and find your script. Once you find it, click on the download now link. This will download a single file to your PC. Unzip that file and then upload it to your server where your website is installed. Remember to upload it to the root folder of where your website is installed. Once you've done that, we're now ready to connect our website. So let's go to Add Edit Websites and add our first site. So here we are now in the Video Swiper site management area. You can see here that we have two demos already set up, but let's quickly show you how you would add a new site. There's an easy and quick form to fill in which asks you just for a few variables. First of all, you would check your action type, whether you're embedding videos using server to server or server to server HD. Then add your site name, this can be any name of your choice, it's just for your reference. Then the direct URL to where your script is installed. Then you must add a real username and a real password to a user on your website. You can create multiple users on your website, then add multiple accounts at Video Swiper for the same website. This allows you to have, say, 10 users all sending videos to the same website, making your website look very busy. Once you're happy with this here, click Add New Site. Let's take a look at one of the sites that we've connected here, how it would look once connected. You can see here that our action type is embedding videos, our site name, our site URL, our username and password, and we're using no translation. We can change the language here to any language of our choice. This means that titles, descriptions and tags will be changed into the language that you select here. This is ideal if you're using a language that is non-English. You then decide on your embed size, width and height, and whether your videos should auto start, and whether you're using a custom player like JW Player or not. Once you're happy with this, then save your site. Let's go back to my sites. We can see now that the video script demo site is using embedding videos, automation is off, and it's fetched 10 categories from our website. 
we're now ready to start searching videos. Here we are now in the video search area. Now before you can start adding content to your websites, you first need to select which website you'd like to send these videos to. We'll select Niche Video Script Demo. This has now been to fetch all the categories from that website. Let's select Category 1. We're now able to go down and start searching for content. Here we would add our refined keywords, here our relevant, just added most viewed top rated, and here the search engine that we would like to search. We're just going to use YouTube in this demonstration for ease. Now we're also going to use one of our predefined keywords that we've saved before, African Safari, and we click search. This will now go and fetch all the videos from YouTube that are related to the keyword African Safari. It may fetch hundreds of thousands of results. We can now start adding videos one by one to our system. We can also go to the left menu here and add all videos on page or all non-transferred videos. This means videos that have not been sent before. We're going to add all videos. This has now added all videos from page 1. Let's now go to page 2 and add all videos. This has given us around 44 to 48 videos saved. As you can see, there's a bar that follows us down the page. Let's go to page 3 first of all, where we've got no saved videos. Down the page, see the bar, we can change the website. This will now fetch categories from that website. We can now add videos there too. This has now added videos to this website and this category. Once we're happy with all our videos and we're ready to submit, we now go to our Submission Center. Here we are now in our Video Folders and Submission area. In this area we're now able to edit all the videos that we've pre-saved ready to send to our websites. You'll see again that the bar follows us down the page and allows us to show videos from each website that we've saved to. At the moment it's showing all videos. This means that down the page by default it will show everything that you've saved that's not been previously submitted. Let's select a website, Niche Video Script Demo Site, and Category 1 which we can see has 40 videos saved in it. Let's click Show. This now shows all videos saved in that website and that category. We could then change it to a different website and to Rally Cars, which we know have got three videos saved in it, and click Show. And again it shows us those three videos. Let's go back to our main website and our main Category 1, where we have 40 saved, and we can now start editing the videos. One of the things we can now do here is we can move a video to a different site or a different category. This is ideal if we've added it to the wrong area. So let's change the website, change the category and swap. This has now moved this video to a new website and a new category. We can do the same here, swap. This has now changed that video to this website and this category. We can do this for any of these. So category 4 on a different website, swap, and that will have been moved to this website and this category. What we need to do now is refresh by clicking show and we'll see that Niche Video Script Demo site has category 4 1 video, category 1 37 videos. Let's have a look on our other website. Update. You'll see here that Rally Cars has 3 videos and Superbikes has 2. So we've now swapped videos around to where we want them to be sent. Remember in Video Swiper version 2 you do one simple submission to send all videos to all categories and all websites in one single push. We can now edit the details of the videos simply by clicking on the thumbnails. Here you can preview the video to make sure it's correct and then you can edit the video details. You can change the titles, the descriptions and you can change the tags. 
and put in your own details. Click Save. You can all do this by mass. Click Mass Change Meta. You'll see, however, there's a difference here. We're using a tag, a token. The token that says Original means the original title, original description, and original tags. We can add some detail before this, and we can add some detail after this. This now means that our detail plus the original detail will be sent per video. It will update those videos with this information. Again, however, we can take the original detail out altogether and update all videos by mass with our own title, our own description and our own tags. Simply click Save Video Updates and all videos will be changed with their titles, descriptions and tags to the ones you've selected. Once you're happy with the way your videos are edited, you're now ready to transfer videos. So let's go and see how this works. So here we are now in the transfer videos area. Now you'll see that the checkout shows you in detail what you're sending and where you're sending it to. You can see that Niche Video Script demo site will have one video sent to the category 4 and 37 videos sent to the category 1. Our Smart Video Plus demo site will have three videos sent to category Rally Cars and two videos sent to category Superbikes. A total of 43 videos will be sent and we can simply now click Transfer Now. You'll see now that you get a message saying your video transfer request has been queued and will start shortly. This now means that your videos are in a queue and waiting to be sent. We can see this through our checkout log here. We can see that 43 videos have been sent, but at the moment the status is unprocessed. We can however go inside the checkout log to see the status. We can see now that our status submission here shows us success. This means the videos have been sent. However, if your submission status shows here as failed and not success, you can simply click the Add Back Into Queue link. This will add this video back into the queue to be sent again. However, if the video fails three times or more, we suggest removing the video as there's obviously a problem with the file rather than the transfer. Let's check and see whether all of ours have successfully been sent and you can see within just a couple of seconds most of them apart from a few at the bottom have been actually sent to our site and if we were to refresh this we will probably find that all of them have now been sent. Let's go and check and you can see now all the way down every video has a submission status of success. That should mean now that all our uh, African Safari videos have arrived at our website. So let's go to our demo website here and you can see on the index page there are videos of makeup and these are the videos to be last added. Let's now refresh this website and we can now see that all the videos that were last added are our African Safari videos and each one of them has been sent to our website extremely fast. We can also go to the videos page and go down to uh, the category, category 1, where we sent them and we'll see here look all of our African Safari videos have been sent to our website. Video Swiper is extremely powerful and extremely fast and it's very easy to either mass embed or use our server to server system. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we hope now that you understand how to use the system and just how incredibly simple it is. Thank you for watching.